In this longitudinal scan, the cranial part is located in the right of the picture. The left adrenal gland can be seen approximately 45 centimeters from the teeth. The gland is surrounded by the upper pole of the spleen, the upper pole of the kidney, and by the left crus of the diaphragm. The left adrenal gland can be visualized in almost every case. With the radial echoendoscope, you can also see the surrounding anatomical structures. The organ length is about 50 millimeters. This is in contrast to the schematic figures in anatomical textbooks. The diameter should be less than 10 millimeters throughout all parts of the gland. You can distinguish five different layers. The next images describe every individual layer. These are related to the anatomical structure. Three suprarenal arteries and one suprarenal vein provide an independent blood supply. An echogenic central echo corresponds to the adrenal medulla. On both sides, the gland is surrounded by the hyperechoic layer of the adrenal cortex. An echogenic capsule structure on the outside of the gland. The upper pole of the right kidney and the inferior cava can be found as landmarks for the right adrenal gland. The right adrenal gland is more visible in a percutaneous ultrasound examination in a slightly left lateral position. Incidentally discovered adrenal masses without endocrine activity or without any history of malignancy are defined as incidental loma. The risk of a malignant incidentaloma is comparatively low. Only a small portion of the lesion is clinically relevant.
the vast majority of incidentalomas are benign and non-functioning tumors. The diagnostic and therapeutic management of incidentalomas are the subject of a controversial scientific and economic debate. In this sequence, you can see a large adenoma without endocrinological relevance, but the diameter is suspicious. For that reason, more diagnostic examinations are needed. The endosonographic fine needle puncture of the left adrenal gland is a safe procedure and can be useful for the evaluation and staging of ominous masses. Only a few cases describe the puncture of the right adrenal gland. Therefore, a combined transabdominal and endoscopic ultrasonographic approach is useful for visualization of the adrenal glands. This may enable diagnosis of adrenal masses as well. <laughs>